Now, do you ever dream of an endless summer? Yes, we do. Well, there's a place not that far away where your dream would come true. Here to tell us all about it, resident travel writer Debbie Griffiths. Good morning, Debbie. Good morning. I want to take you to a tiny little island off que Australia's Queensland coast. It's called Daydream Island. Take a look. On Daydream Island, you are never far from wildlife, whether it's wallabies or birds. One of the first things they tell you on Daydream Island is don't feed the cockatoos because they can be quite a pest. Luckily, I haven't seen any cockatoos at all, so I don't think I have to worry about that. But the main focus here is marine life, and the living reef that circles the main building of the resort and spa is something rather special. It's an outdoor aquarium, and it is really big. It's one of the largest in the Southern Hemispheres. Approximately 3,000 animals, they breed, they live, they grow. Some of our animals have been in here 17 years. We don't have much to do with it. You know, it's just self-sufficient. We get our water straight from the ocean. It's full of plankton and nutrients, and the animals just thrive. There's a free presentation every morning, but you get to feed them yourself on a tour. Barramundi with their gaping mouths. <laughs> and sharks that love a tickle. This is your chance to get up close and personal to the marine life. This is a red rhinoceros sea star. Perfect. <laughs> that you can actually hold and give a stroke. And that's actually his butt though. Yep. So don't stroke its butt. <laughs> and yes, it's a little bit nerve wracking when 90 kilogram pikelet the stingray is hungry. We do all these tours where they get to interact with the animals, you know go in the water with a stingray and the stingray will be sucking on their toes and, and people laugh and scream and carry on. Without what we do, people would be terrified of stingrays, for example, or sharks, you know, and they wouldn't understand the real animal. Being so close to the animals, you learn so much. Stingray behaviour, shark behaviour, you're with them every single day and it's, it's fascinating. If you put one stingray with another and they don't like each other, you see it. So it's, it's so cool. It's a way for me to learn as well. Stingray Splash is fascinating. They suck on our feet and knees as they explore and muscle their way through our legs. Stay in your togs to have a whirl on a paddle board. And when you need to chill out, the pool is the perfect place to unwind. But if you are feeling active, the nature walk is a gentle stroll to the highest point on Daydream Island. From here, it's a spectacular view back to the Aussie mainland. The track pops out at Lover's Cove, and if you buy some fish food, it's another chance to meet some colourful locals. After dark, there's a unique way to see the nearby reef. Two marine biologists feed footage from an underwater camera back onto a screen, while a third commentates. The beauty of it, they never know what they'll find. <laughs> oh, that looks absolutely hilarious. And those marine biologists obviously really, really enjoy their job. Yeah, they do. They get really into it. So that was only about the ninth time they'd done that particular presentation at night. And you never know what they're going to find. They actually found a poisonous cone snail under the water and they got out pretty quick. So that's Fuck. one of the most poisonous animals, creatures in the world. Really? Yeah. Oh, that yeah. sounds creepy. Amazing. That sounds very creepy. Yeah. Um, and you touched on it on the beginning too of that segment. The wildlife just looks incredible. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just outside outside the balcony door there were kangaroos and there's a picture of it right there look how close you can get some people were even <laughs> stroking the kangaroos you I took that yeah I, do, I took that it's amazing it? yeah it's really cute and there's also um, I mean we went on a bush walk and there was a snake oh that's freaky uh, I don't think that's a dangerous kind well who told you that uh, they said, they said, yeah that's fine it's a fine <laughs> snake no problems there just step away from the snake and move right along yeah and there were heaps of those I touched on it earlier in the segment there were some uh, cockatoos just on the balcony I took this video on the balcony they listen for the oh opening of the doors and they actually go inside rooms so that's why the the rule is 
don't feed the cockatoos because they will actually go into the rooms. Uh, two of them started ganging up on me, so I went back inside and retreated behind the closed doors. <laughs> I can see why you don't want a cockatoo in your room, that's for sure. No, no yeah, way. make a mess. Uh, it looks great. It is a really great place for families. I really recommend it for families. And it's a really good base as well. You can go out on the ferry to Hamilton Island, Airlie Beach. Reef Sleep, we went from there as well. So, yeah, go and take the family. Great Somewhere place. you definitely go back to? I think so, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Great idea for a family holiday any time of the year. Thank you so much, Debbie. No worries. Very jealous of that cocktail drinking in the pool too.